All right, everyone. It is Gerald Glassford. Thanks so much again for watching, listening. I am live now. I'm hoping I'm live everywhere else. Uh, what's up, Alan? Hopefully, you can hear me. Hopefully, you can see me. And that everybody is going to go ahead and. Enjoy today's game right here at the Lakers Fast Break. Truly appreciate you joining us. It is Gerald Glassford. Thanks again for watching and listening. All right, Alan. Yes. Yes, that's a better sign. That is a better sign for us right there. Stone, what's up, my friend? Stone's here for the last game. All right. Great to have you here, my friend. Yeah. A little bit cloudy on your audio. I don't know why. On my audio? Oh, there it is. Perfect now. Okay. I just dropped my phone in the toilet, so I was freaking out trying to figure out how to... Oh, my God. I've done that off. before. That's terrible. Yeah. It's water resistant, I hope. So. Yeah, it's an iPhone 14, so I was reading, and people were saying it should be okay. Um, okay. I don't know. I, I turned it off. That's what they say to do. So after the game, I'll turn it on, and hopefully it works. Well, I took anyway, it out in like three seconds though, so hopefully it's. I could check. Uh, let me know if I need to check at report underscore court, everyone. At report <laughs> underscore court for you. So, you notice how I turned that into a cheap look. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you've been doing some great work. On my highest of compliments for you on on your work with uh, as far as getting back into it. So. Oh, thanks. It's uh it's been fun. I've been getting all the notifications, so all your great work and uh, what you've been seeing there. So that's good. And the game starts with uh, sixth place on the line for New Orleans and eighth place on the line for the Lakers. We'll see what happens. Uh, LeBron's feeling a little bit uh, testy already. All right. And the Lakers got to New Orleans sooner than New Orleans, so I'm hoping that a little bit of extra rest may help them. Yeah. Yes. You and I both, Alan. You and I both. Yes. Oh, that's great. They can see us and hear us today. Oh, my gosh. It was so bad uh, the other day. Playback was oh, really? so messed up. So let me get this straight. Okay, only Cool Bro could see and hear me if we were not if you if uh, you were not on stage with us. And then um, let me see. Also, as the Pelicans tied the score, and then um, they uh, they could not hear Nick. Uh, Henry came on uh, halfway through, and he had an echo, but only to me it was an echo. Everybody else could see and hear, and hear them. Sounds like they got a lot of. <laughs> they need to put like put an update out. Yes, they've grown very large, very quick. Yes, and um, Lakers have come out strong so far. Um, they. They're a company that's grown very large, very quick, and I think they don't have the software infra infrastructure to support it yet. Yeah, their servers are overloaded. Uh, Brandon Ingram is back in the lineup. Uh, he is on a minutes restriction. Oh, and, that was a good move. Yeah. He's been really on fire the past couple weeks. Nice. There you go. So, what happens if we win? We get eight. But then, well, but also, what if the Kings and uh, Suns win? Doesn't matter. We control our desti destiny. Okay. We control our destiny from eight to tenth. So, if we it is your destiny, if son. if we win, some what's up, Joe? If we Hello. win, we get eighth. If we lose and Golden State loses, we get ninth. If Golden State loses, we get uh, we wins and we lose, we get tenth. If and we win, spend. we win. If we lose, we lose. And in so Sac so oh, go ahead. And Sacramento uh, wins because uh, Sacramento and, and the uh, Golden State Warriors are a game behind us. But if so, 
they both have to win for us to get to 10th and we have to yeah. lose. Yep. Okay. So but what we... if the Kings win and we lose? Does that affect anything? Well, but if Golden State loses... Yeah. So if Golden State lost and we lost, but the Kings won... Then we would be ninth. Ninth, okay. It gets kind of confusing. For New Orleans, if they win, they're sixth. Yeah, and then the the Mavericks are trying to get fourth if they win, and uh, someone were to lose, I forget. I think well, the Clippers. That's a great question, Alan. There's always a concern with Phoenix, but we played them well over the course of the season. So, I mean, if there's any team in the bottom ranks we played well against, it has been Phoenix. So... Yeah, not fully healthy. I, I I understand, but I still think we match up well against Phoenix. And then Denver, OKC, and the Wolves are trying to decide their fates at the top. That's correct. That's absolutely correct. Yes, because Denver, man, they got shocked by San Antonio the other at the other day. Yeah, I'd, I'd be really shocked if they lost to the Grizzlies back-to-back Spurs and Grizzlies losses. Uh, just to give everybody an idea what's going on, Denver is leading at Memphis 14-9. Phoenix is leading on the road at Minnesota in a game that the, everybody's watching. That's 20-14. to Lakers and New Orleans 11-4 to you see there. OKC is leading Frank's team 15-4. to I'm not sure Dallas has really put any effort in there. I think they're pretty much resigned to get the fifth seed. Uh, and I don't want to, I don't think they can get climb up to the fourth seed. Let me see. I think, well, I don't know who has the tiebreaker there. Oh, but, the Clippers and the Mavs? The yeah. Frank would know. They'd be tied, he's... though. If they won and the Clippers lost, they'd tie. Yeah. <clears throat> So far, so good, uh, Joe. So far, so good. Good. That's what I want to hear. Oh, what time do you want your nightcap on tonight? I don't know. I'm waiting on... Uh, I wanted to have... My plan was to have the veto thing when we play New Orleans because it makes sense. So I'm waiting for Jeff to get back to me. I'm going to hit him up again at, at halftime to see. And then I'll let you know. Okay, because I'll schedule it out for you. Hmm. Once again, thanks for watching this thing. It is the Lakers Fast Break. Please go ahead and check out Stone Hansen's great reporting on the NBA draft prospects on at report underscore court on Twitter. Nice. Yes. Hit that. Oh, that would have been great. Got to hit that. Did you travel? Nice D. Ooh. Yes. It's like they butter. Want, they want this game. You could Tran tell. Transition. They're focused. This is the way it should have been on Friday. Why? Okay, they won anyways, but still. Not playing defense like that. Yeah. They're trying to play fast. <clears throat> That's what you want to do because CJ shooting so well from the outside. What do you mean? There you go. Move. Oh, oh my God. Cut. Good idea, though. Yeah. Do 
Did he hit that or it just came up short? Just came up short, I think. They're doing a lot of cutting, a lot of action and movement. I like it. I know, right, Alan? Absolutely. Yeah. 81, 80, 82 games of not doing this, and then they would save it for the 83rd. One more. Look at, that, look at that movement. Look at that movement. Oh, my God. They play basketball. Wow. We're so dumb. <laughs> we know they do this. <laughs> Out of bounds. Effort on defense, movement on offense. Is this the Lakers? <laughs> Oh. Damn it, Jim. I'm like... Reeves is hustling on defense. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Raphael? Exactly. Let's get this W. Yay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind, Joe. Go team. So, who, well, I guess it. We don't know yet. Why is LeBron taking a fade away against Alvarado? Because. Uh, the defense is collapsing. Oh, wow. What a surprise. All you got is threes. You fucking use loose, you useless piece of shit. That's all <laughs> these fuckers do. You and your stupid black and Mountain Dew colors. <laughs> there you go. Offense is humming, but we got to tighten up on the perimeter. Hey, Matt, dude, you're holding. He was holding AD. Still couldn't stop him. Thanks, Lair. What the? What are these passes? <laughs> nice, pass. amazing. I would do it again <laughs> ten times in a row. <laughs> this sounds like a playoff game, doesn't it? They're playing like it's a playoff game. Not there. There you go. That's what we want. <laughs> No. You got Pete Jay. Shoot it. No, no, no. No, that's what we don't want. How do you let a five foot nine guy do that to you? Seriously. They push LeBron out of bounds on that drive, and there's still no call. 
Look at him. He is pissed. He's one of the few guys that plays good when he's pissed off. Maybe it's a good thing. Oh, oh, I see. Hello, you're on Facebook. You're watching the Lakers Fast Break. It's the live scoreboard and chat of the Lakers and Pelicans. Truly appreciate you joining us on playback.tv. So that's Lakers Fast Break. Do you all think Ham goes to the Prince at four and uh, goes small? Is what Alan uh, is asking. I mean, it depends. Who... He's leaned on it heavily uh, since Gabe Vincent's come back. Yeah, it depends who the pelicans are running out there i mean not if it's valentunis and uh like larry nance or zion <clears throat> if they run trey murphy at the four then maybe I don't know, though. Ham's an idiot. It's impossible to know what he's going to do. <laughs> the Warriors-Jazz game is closer than I thought it'd be. Um, Draymond and Steph are out. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Maybe the Warriors have accepted that they want to. Play two games to go to the playoffs. Ugh. It's got to hit that shot. Oh, look, three. Can you imagine having a court called Smoothie King? <laughs> There you go. Yes. What's up, Rough Artist? What's up? How you doing, Rough Artist? Hi. Get back on D. Stop complaining. So if Philly 
knew what was going to happen here, do they pick Brandon Ingram first? I mean, if yeah, if they had hindsight on that. How different would Ben Simmons' career be if he had started with the Lakers? Well, if you're saying if they knew what happened, right? Like, you you mean like with Simmons and all the mental and injury stuff or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he'd have the same career pretty much then, right? Because he'd pretty much just be unplayable after year three or four. That pass at on the dunk changed everything. I still remember it. He was great. Like his first couple of years, I thought he was amazing. But yeah. Is there anyone talking? There you go. This is a really defensive heavy lineup for the Pelicans. Oh, come on. We can't get any bounces. Is the clock ever going to go down? <laughs> uh, Rough Artist, yes, I did watch the series. Um, I'm not a huge Fallout fan of the game. I played uh, some of the editions of it, but uh, yeah, pretty good series. Pretty good series. Did get to finish it last night. How do you have time to do all this? Uh, no sleep. <laughs> oh, we could have gone all the way. Should have gone all the way. Man, I wish we had Ingram still. Hey, on, on this team, he'd be a, a huge difference maker. Nice. What's up, Nick? Hey, what's up, Gerald? Uh, Stone and uh, Joe. Hey, How's it going? What, he's Durant now? <laughs> so, Gerald, uh, is, is uh, Lakers... Uh, Lakers are locked in on eighth now, regardless, right? Is that true or no? No, they have to win to get eighth. Okay. Unless Sacramento and, and Golden State both lose, they have to win uh, to get eighth. If Sacramento Why they win... make the Pelican look like a Cobra, they're supposed to be scaring people with that? <laughs> uh so, Nick, if the Lakers win, they get eighth. If the Lakers lose, Sacramento wins, and Golden State loses, the Lakers get ninth, and Sacramento gets eighth. If the Lakers lose, Golden State wins, and Sacramento loses, the Lakers get ninth, and Golden State gets eighth. If... Golden State and Sacramento both lose, and the Lakers lose. Then the Lakers would get get eighth. A playing game would be Tuesday, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, that's if they that's if they are ninth and tenth. I think. Of course, never fails. <laughs> <sighs> Is there some kind of disease at the end of the quarters with the Lakers that they have to let them score? <laughs> or is this every team? That's a tough shot. Usually it's just they chuck them because the Lakers give up at the end of the quarter, but that is a, just good defense, just better offense.
Let's go to the scores right now for everybody. I know you're keeping an eye on them. Uh, Nuggets lead the Grizzlies by three. Suns lead the Timberwolves by 20. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with Minnesota. I think it's in Minnesota. Does Minnesota want to tank the game? I don't know. Uh, is it in their best interest? Are they are they playing the positioning game? I think it's kind of stupid for a team to do that, though, because you don't know who you're supposed to be playing, right? Like, we don't know how it's going to end with the Kings, Suns, and Lakers games. So to try and finagle yourself is kind of pointless. Uh, Thunder leads the Mavs by 17. Spurs lead the Pistons. Warriors lead the Jazz at home by 6. Uh, Rockets lead the Clippers. Kings lead the Blazers. And then earlier, you had the Celtics beating the Wizards. Hornets beating the Cavaliers. Pacers put up 157 against the Hawks. Heat beat the Raptors. Knicks beat the Bulls by one. And the Magic beat the Bucks. And the 76ers beat the Nets. Is the Eastern Conference? I think the Eastern Conference is set because they're all finished. Yeah, they're all there. It's all set. It's all set. Yeah. Cavs Magic 4 5 is pretty interesting. Uh... Uh, guys, is uh, LeBron signing records tonight? Um, eight assists and Barely the first. He may get to 20. <clears throat> Kings, or uh, sorry, 76ers, Bucks, it'll be interesting on the East. Uh, let me go ahead. I'll find out. Let me find out on Giannis for you. Nick should beat the Pacers. I know he's being held out of the last, final games of the season, but I don't know if he's, they've given us any... Uh, status on his injury it's incredible you could be 10 games below 500 in the east and still make the play in (laughs) yeah it's because the celtics are sucking up all the wins on that conference i don't know if he's going to be out if um how are you because there's a week off for minnesota uh, for milwaukee so he might miss like the first game, but I think he'll be back for that series, most of it. Because remember, he hyperextended his knee and bent it back uh, a couple of years ago, and he still came right back. So, wait, if Phoenix wins, the winner of the seventh faces it. So, who has the tiebreaker between Phoenix and the Pelicans? Uh, I think it's Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so if Pelicans lose and Phoenix wins, Pelicans will be seventh. Mm -hmm. That's why they're playing hard. And in that scenario, we would, I guess, be playing the Pelicans. We'd just stay in New Orleans. So is this another referee crew that's going to allow the teams to play another uh, extra minute like they did on Friday? (laughs) I saw that. That's so funny. I don't know how that happens. They're talking to both the coaches. That seemed like a regular end of the quarter. I don't understand what's going on. Who's shooting a technical? It was the fifth foul. What was the fifth foul? <clears throat> supposed to be a free throw, then they didn't give it. Oh, for New Orleans. Hey, wait, who is the foul on? The last foul that they uh, that they committed, I guess, uh, before the end of the quarter, was supposed to have been the uh, uh, put the Lakers to the free throw. So they don't know how to count. Yes. Oh, well, they don't know how to tell time. 
<laughs> oh, second foul under two minutes. Boy, the bad refereeing follows the Lakers everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> what? Well, at least they rectified it, and I'll take the free throws. Yes, we'll take the points. What's up, Blue? What's up, Robert? Who fouled who? The last foul that the New Orleans committed, Joe, was the second in the last two minutes, and they should have given the Lakers free throws, and they didn't. Nice. nice. What Nance a fouled Rui. Okay. But Prince shot the free throws because uh, Rui was out of the lineup. Nice defense. There you go. Hey, Alan, was that the one where – <clears throat> is that the one where you the other opposing coach gets to pick the player to shoot the free throws? Oh, man. Come on. You got to get those boards. Oh, man. Come on. Don't – Will you just watch the game? I'm watching the game. Will you just... You have to comment after every mistake? Yes. You do? You... When? Oh, my God. He dribbled it left. Shit. Shut up, Joe. Oh my God! He went to that basket. Jesus! Wow, that was a crazy cross, buddy. Come on, guard him. <laughs> well, I'll take that if if they're gonna let. Shut up, Joe. Daniel shoot threes. <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! Come on, Vincent, you prick! <laughs> nice. Been sitting on your ass all year. You can't make an open shot. What the hell have you been doing? He needs to just stop shooting threes. The whole team does. Yes, Alan. Correct. Angelo. He's only made three all year, Stone. Yeah, only let D'Angelo, Reeves, and Bree shoot. Nobody well, else. LeBron. Can shoot. Yeah, I guess LeBron. Only those four. Anybody else should be kicked off the team. Dang, Gabe, dang, 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 dang. Gabe made three. How many did Dinwiddie make? Four. <clears throat> Morongo. Dinwiddie cannot make them. Dinwiddie is great. Stone. I don't care what you say. He's absolute garbo. Garbage. His uh, percentage right now is. <laughs> you. You liked him. You disliked him so much. You started speaking French. Thirty-three <laughs> percent. <33%. laughs> 33 uh, yeah. and that's up from 29 or whatever when you first got here no seriously i don't appreciate you saying that i don't care <laughs> he's he's trash <laughs> i was hoping you were gonna say shut up joe <laughs> <laughs> shut up joe <laughs> no i wanted to hear stone do it uh he's... Or, or eat shit <laughs> <laughs> not dinwiddie can <clears throat> What's the what to do? What to do? Warriors are pulling away a little bit from the Jazz. <clears throat> Thunder are whipping the Mavericks. Feeling 
Phoenix is ahead by 20 on the road at Minnesota. Yeah, Phoenix is looking good in that. It's on the quarter, too, I guess, though. And that was with Minnesota played. It's uh, how are the Nuggets keeping this close to the Grizzlies? Is Jokic sitting out? Let me find out. Is this a, like the senior cheer squad for the Pelicans? I was gonna say it's the dancing so. grannies. They they do it for. Uh, I forget. There's like four or five teams that do it though. It's pretty funny. No, uh, guys, it's the it's the legit Denver starting lineup. Holy cow! And I guess Memphis just wants to make sure they can get to the 13th seed or something. Gigi is uh, Gigi's putting up the shots. I'll give him that. Why? This plays real hard. The second round, draft, second round draft pick. Stone. What's that? Gigi Jackson. Oh yeah, yeah. Played well against the Lakers. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I tend to not really value what anybody does in April. To be honest. I just kind of write April off as a nothing. Or he's been playing well Wait. since uh, all the. You need injury. to be more positive. Yeah. Shut up, Joe. No, I don't like being positive. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. Literally. <laughs> And that was like Magic Johnson, coast Look to that. coast. You got, you just got in the way and no foul. Good defense there, Jax. Man, I'm telling you, man, he has been a revelation. Look at look at Torian Prince. What the heck? Playing like royalty. <laughs> Come on, guys. Why do you ruin it with letting you ruin all this good play and you let him just shoot a three? Make them work. Make them go to the basket. Nice. Or you can do answer. That. <laughs> Good answer. That was his answer to you, Joe. I, and I think that was LeBron's 10th assist. Nice. Really? Yeah, it's like his 10th assist. Is... He's going for 20. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, Jackson. Put up your hands. What's he going to do? Drop 20 assists tonight? He could. Foul! He has 11 assists. Holy cow. He might have 20 by halftime. <laughs> you know what? It'd be worth LeBron getting a technical right now. Uh, Stone or Gerald, you might know this stat, but did it Jokic have like 20 plus assists in a game this season? Yes. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, like, He's done it like, before, I think. Like 21 or something? I something think he like did that. a 40-20-20, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think he's had multiple 20 assist games over his career, not this season. Oh, nice. Man. This is the, the kryptonite of the Pelicans is they have no rim protection. They should have kept Jackson Hayes. <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't do that either. No. <laughs> This has been their biggest flaw. So if we beat them and have to play them in the plane, I wouldn't mind. Actually, Halliburton had 23 assists in the game uh, so far this season. Agreed, Robert, if uh, Denver loses today and the Lakers win.
Gave it snaps two or three fouls. At least two I know of. Abe Vincent. Yeah, he has two. It looks like Zion did lose weight, right? Yeah, he has. Uh, he's tried to stay in better shape, and I think because uh, he's been on been on the court, stay in better better shape. I went from six hundred to five eighty. <laughs> funny. You know, he, he looks like he looks like a shorter player to me when he's not as big. You know, just looks like shorter. Well, he's only he's only like six five. Yeah, that that's small. I thought it was a six seven. No, well, he's mislisted. He's definitely smaller than that. Good question, rough artist. Who was tr- Prince passing to? The front row. <laughs> uh, rough artist. That's a good question. If he loses any more weight, does he lose his effectiveness? Well, his career might be longer because he'll have less stress on his no legs. I mean, he's so so much bigger than everyone else. He can lose his yeah he, forty he pounds be and be fine. Yeah. He's 240, legitimately 240. He's still a problem. I mean, didn't Charles Barkley go through the same issue where he lost a lot of weight and he felt he was weaker? I'm not saying that's what Zion is going through, but I guess there's a obviously a limit. Yeah, but Zion's such an athlete, too, that I don't think it changes much for him. That was a dumb shot. They gotta bring help to Austin. Hey, LeBron looks locked in. I'm. I'm I don't know if I'm worried about the game anymore. <laughs> they should. They should be feeding AD right now on Zeller. <clears throat> you run pick and rolls over and over again. Jesus. There's no evolutionary reason for men to lose their hair like that. Especially in their 20s. Zeller's old, though. He's like 36 or something. Yeah, but Caruso was, what, 21? Oh, yeah, Caruso. He lost his early. No, actually... He's tired, Alan, because he's balling out, man. Stone Zeller's actually only 31. 31? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks. He that's still old. <laughs> he, he he looks fifty one. <laughs> yeah, his brother Tyler, I think, still has a full head of hair. Robert agrees with you, Joe, on uh, LeBron's weight. Oh. Nice, oh. nice by Rui. That's Get what the Lakers the... have to do is exploit Who verticality. Agrees Robert agrees with you on LeBron's weight. Robert, I agree with you when you agree to agree. <laughs> Nice oh, yeah. pass. Lakers are looking good. Yes. So what that's, seed? That's Robert Wheeler, right? Yes. Oh, good. Hey, Rob, what's up, bud? He's on YouTube. That's, that's questions on chat room by far. So Not what... saying the other ones aren't good either, but just his are <laughs> my favorite. What um seed does Denver have to get if we had to play them? Like assuming we win, we'd be eighth. I guess they they just get one. Yeah. Hmm. Well, remember, can't we move up to the seventh spot in a plane? Yeah, if we win. Hmm. Yeah. Well, because Pelicans would be seven, but I guess we just swap with them if we beat them. Yeah, beat them twice, you get the seventh seed. The problem is if Denver finishes in the second seed, now it's a problem. Because Minnesota's losing, Oklahoma City is winning. Oklahoma looks like might get the first seed. And then Denver and Minnesota. Denver, uh, I think, has the tiebreaker because they won the other night. 
between Denver Dude, and Minnesota. We're gonna play in De- we're gonna, if we <laughs> we're gonna check. end up I'm, playing Denver the, in the first round. Then let me check. No, Minnesota has the tiebreaker. I'm sorry. I apologize. Minnesota, because so, if you look at look at the standings right now, OKC is on top. Minnesota and Denver uh, after that, but they're all have the same record. So I guess Minnesota has the tiebreaker. If um, the Lakers stay at eight, and if they lost a game and won a game, if they w- went one and one in the play in, they just stay at eight then? Yes. Okay. And then if they lose two, they're out. But then if they win two, they move up to seven. They only need to win one because remember, they only, if they win, that's it. They move up to seven. Okay. They will only play one playing game. Okay, they they they'll play on Wednesday because yeah. uh, I think Tuesday's game is the nine ten games. Or am I wrong on that? I, I, I we'll have to check. I have to check to see. The, <laughs> it's all so confusing. Yeah, I don't know exactly if the Lakers play on Tuesday or Wednesday. I think you think Wednesday, Alan. I'll I'll confirm it on NBA.com as soon as the game is over. Good job, Gerald. Why, thank you, Joe. Robert said, "Thank you, Joe, for agreeing with him and giving him the compliment." What was going on on Wednesday? So the game is on Tuesday. The plan? What? Uh, we? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday. Hopefully, it's Tuesday because I got shit going on Wednesday. Well, if it's Wednesday, the I think the Lakers would have the eight seed. Nice. Watch out below. Oh, so Gerald, so, so Gerald like how is that a foul? A benefit of getting seventh or eighth is that you get an extra day of rest. Is that right? Uh, I think so. Yes, because I think the nine ten games are Tuesday, and the eight nine games, uh, seven eight games are Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Well, if they're gonna play New Orleans, that means they're staying there, right? Yeah, yeah they just stay there. <laughs> Jerk in a box. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alan says, "Seems like Denver's destiny at this point." It's more like density. If if you're the Lakers, you should do whatever you can to stall this game, so that Denver, the Denver OKC, uh, Mem- or uh, Minnesota games finish first, and then you could figure out where Denver is going to be seated and <laughs> lose or win accordingly. Mm, got to hit that shot. You want Denver first? You want to end the season early? Nice pass. Yes. <laughs> I just saw no right away. It's fair enough. It's so loud, I couldn't even hear the foul call. They just have no rim protection whatsoever. (laughs) 
Oh, nice pass again. Great dime. I, I'm telling you, LeBron's going to get 20 assists tonight. Unless they're up 40 at the third, then he won't play the fourth, which would be great. Look at the hands. Look at D'Lo playing D, though. I know. That's what I'm saying. You prick. <laughs> All that, and you make a three, Nance, the one three you make every game. Man, they're really diving perfectly tonight. Isn't that a carry? Uh, I don't think so. Well, an actual good timeout. The light of God now is on your face, Stone. I know. I'm trying to fight the sun here. And you looked angry, too. You look like a <laughs> patchy warrior right now. <laughs> uh, the sun is like the rays keep moving in and out. It's like kind of cloudy. So I'm fighting it. What is he doing? <laughs> Good one, Alan. Not supposed to win, yeah. Problem is I take them all the way down and it's like the light's not very good. You can do it. <laughs> Just get it back to twenty, please. Jump. Good. Is that Alvarado? A little prick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice. Ooh. Nice. Wow, Same fast. thing. Same play. Nice. Tell me, Rui's just, he's improving game every game. Damn, a career high in his 21st season? <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> I think I could get 30 assists. If he plays the third quarter and fourth? Maybe. Dante's asking us to get hype. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dante? That's not really in my MO. <laughs> nice. Stone, were you stoic when uh, when the Lakers won it in 2020? Uh, no, or were you or were you emotional? I wasn't emotional. Uh, I don't remember really. I mean, I'm, I was happy, but I don't know. I'm just not super <laughs> expressive, I guess. His name is Stone, folks. It's not an accident. Yes, crawled in there. Uh, he is shooting 43% from out there. Could somebody please step up and guard him? Didn't he have like 23s? In like it doesn't matter. Games? They can't stop the Lakers on offense. Yeah, we're, we're cooking on offense. Ooh. They got zero defense. In the paint. <clears throat> Ooh, nice trap. See, man, they're they Darvin Ham's coaching, guys. <laughs> I don't think Darvin Ham's the one doing this. It's gotta be an assistant. Darvin's not smart That's enough to come up so. with this. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Give credit a little bit. <laughs> nope. He's terrible. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Oh, Rui. That was LeBron's 14th assist, Rui. You bum. Just kidding. <clears throat> So LeBron channeling Magic Johnson there? Looks the like Magic it. had the coast to coast earlier. Ah, he reached on that. You reach, I teach. Good thing I didn't finish. What? Where is the foul on that? Please don't give up another. Last second shot at the buzzer. Yeah, if we end at 14, that's... I don't love that. But we're rolling on offense. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. LeBron.
amazing. Just out of curiosity, what is LeBron's dunk percentage this year? The the dunk the dunk would have counted, right? Or no? Yeah, it would have counted. Yeah, yeah it would have counted. Yeah. Mm. He's shooting ninety five percent on dunks. He's had eighty three dunks this year. I mean, 95% of 83. I, I'm assuming he's only missed like two or three dunks then, right, Stone? Uh, I think four. Four, okay. Yeah, which is pretty standard. Uh, Anthony Davis is shooting 94% on dunks. He's had 200, 203. Feels like that number should be like at least a hundred dunks more. I don't know. Really? I don't know because I don't know like more lobs. I don't know. I always feel like Gerald and I have talked about this. Like we feel like Davis should be getting way more lobs. Yes. Yeah, there should be more pick and rolls. That's like two and a half dunks a game. He's averaging about. Uh. On catch and shoot, Anthony Davis is shooting 37%. He's actually shooting 39% when on defended catch and shoot opportunities, and then 35% on unguarded. So he shoots better when he's being defended. Well, let's see. And then Anthony Davis is shooting 50% on hook shots. What's up, Shwags? <laughs> specific. It's called optical. Fire, it's more for digital. So I agree, do we? have the TV be hooked up to the surround. We'll have the TV, the cable, and then the Apple TV. Agreed, one fly. Yeah. So many wires, we don't think here. It's I just saw Alan's comment right now. <laughs> Alan, uh, you're making me laugh. My God, this place is going to be so free of wires. Do what I'm going to do. <laughs> to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of the super box in the front. Yeah, the Nintendo. Should, I, should I keep the Super Nintendo here? Yes, Joe, keep the Super Nintendo there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thunder up 82 to 41 at halftime on the Mavericks. Wow. Luca must not be playing or something. Oh, yeah. Let me okay. Let me get you their lineup real quick. They started. Oh yeah, they did not have. No, they anybody? Had Omex, <laughs> no, they had uh, th uh, thj omax prosper Dwight Powell. You know when they're starting Dwight Powell, who's probably the one of the most uh, despised players in Dallas Mavericks mm -hmm. history. Uh, yeah, Green. They're starting Hart. Omax, who's absolutely yeah. abysmal as a basketball player. I don't know how he is a first round pick. <clears throat> THJ is also like unplayable at an NBA level. He's so bad. 
Yeah, so they were locked into the fifth seed, I guess. Yeah, they're their fifth luck. <clears throat> Let's go back to the scoreboard uh, for everybody out there, just to give everyone an update. Uh, Nuggets lead by 12 now, kind of opening up the lead at halftime over the Grizzlies. Suns lead the Timberwolves by 13. Lakers lead by 17 here. Uh, Thunder, like Stone said, up by 41 over the Mavericks. Spurs leading the Pistons by 30. Uh, Warriors lead at halftime by seven over the Jazz. Clippers lead by two over the Rockets. Kings lead by 29 over the Trailblazers. Looks like they've packed what, it in. What for did I do now? You didn't do anything. I'm just talking about the, I'm talking shit. No, I said you were taught. You we could hear you as far as your conversation, as far as your Super Nintendo is concerned. Oh yeah, and Gerald. Gerald, did I hear you right? That the OKC is up forty-one on maps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is correct. <laughs> I can grab some water real quick. No, you can't. Stone, where are you? Gerald, yes. If uh, if um, OKC wins, which are, OKC wins, which is likely, I guess, and then um, the Nuggets win. Who who gets the first seed? OKC. OKC. Okay. Yeah. If you take a look at the standings as of right now, uh, Nick, they uh, they're all tied for first. I mean, they all have the same record, but OKC has the tiebreaker, and then I guess Minnesota has a tiebreaker after that, which is kind of weird because I thought Denver had the tiebreaker when they won on Friday, uh, won the other day, I'm sorry, but I guess not. So, yeah, they're all uh, tied right now with the same record, and Denver's in the number three slot. Yeah, OKC owns the tiebreaker against both Minnesota and Denver. And I guess Minnesota owns it over Denver. But you're right. If Minnesota loses and Denver wins, then, <clears throat> then an OKC wins, which is they're going to do. 
because they're up by 40. 47, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so he's got the first seed. We're in trouble, guys. The Lakers went out. They're probably getting the seventh seed, and they're playing Denver as the second seed. Yeah, unless Memphis does the miracle, right? And they're able to somehow eke out a win, but that's wishing wishing too too much, I think. I almost feel like we should lose this game then, right? <laughs> or no? No. <clears throat> well I don't I don't know because uh would the Lakers be go fall to tenth? They fall to ten likely, and then they'd be on the road twice. Yeah, that's 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 a lot to ask. All right.
Good start. <clears throat> nice rim protection. Not there. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. So we're just talking how the Lakers might end up having to face Denver in the first round. Yeah, it, it's a possibility for sure. <clears throat> we got to win and lose accordingly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dilo. Lakers are feeling good. Up oh, 24 now. That's a healthy. Are you being lead. positive, Stone? Yep. Savor it. <laughs> no. Hit that. Hit that. Oh. That would have been officially the D-Lo Austin Reeves show. Would have been the dagger. Oh, what a pass! Whoa. Oh my god, touch pass. <laughs> now, I guess we gotta more focus on what the other scores are <laughs> to see who we're gonna have to play. This game isn't important, but it's funny that the Spurs are really taxing this, the Pistons right now. Yeah. That was probably the least watched game of today. <laughs> yeah, I, and I don't even think Wemby is playing. He's not. Yeah, no, I, nobody's probably watching that game right now. So probably just, just, yeah, probably yeah. just the cleaning staff. <laughs> yeah. The, the godfather of wasting everybody's time and money. Who? Popovich. Oh, yeah. He hasn't been a good coach in like 10 years. That was his best year, too. One of the best I've ever seen. The what was it? The 2013 the series against the Heat was probably the, in my opinion, that's the best basketball I've ever seen played on a basketball court. You're talking about the 14 Spurs, right? Oh, the 14. Yeah, whatever year it was when they beat yeah. the Heat in the finals. Yeah, yeah, that's the best basketball I think I've ever watched. <clears throat> Two best, two best, uh, the two best seasons I remember, coach, just out, out, absolutely daggering. It was, uh, Bill Jackson in 94 and Popovich in 14. Yeah, that was, <clears throat> that was pretty nuts. They almost went to the Eastern Conference Finals without Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty nuts. 
Joe, that doesn't get talked about enough. No. I feel like. No, it doesn't because there is a a Jordan mystique that they want to continue to have. But Hubert Davis getting called for a foul in that series changed everything. If the Bulls beat the Knicks without Jordan, just it just goes into another level. And, but what it did teach, teach us is that Scottie Pippen isn't really a leader. Because had he not done what he did, maybe they would have beat him. No, nice. I don't think I don't think I don't think LeBron's gonna play the fourth. I think Warriors Stone Hansen will. <laughs> All right, so Thunder hold the tiebreaker versus Nuggets. So it it's and, looking it, it and the Timberwolves. Like, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be OKC one, Denver two, and Minnesota three. Unless which Minnesota mean, comes up with a comeback. Yeah. Which would mean we play the Nuggets if we win our play-in game. Nice. We're playing the Nuggets, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's seeming like. Oh. That was a... Austin Reeves with his Shane Battier hand to the face defense. Oh, no way. No, no. Nah. You don't have that much strength, Austin. Sorry, bud. What the hell was that? He was looking for contact, Joe. Nice. And the thing is, Russell got hit in the hand there. Should have been and won. Yeah, so it seems like right now that Lakers are going to play the Pelicans in the play-in in the first round and then the Nuggets in the playoffs if we win, which it, judging by today's game, seems like a good chance we're going to win. <clears throat> yeah. But, but I guess uh, Stone... If we if we lose against the Pelicans in the play in the first playing game, then we'll likely play OKC, right? In the first round, is that correct? Well, remember, we'll still have to play the winner of the nine ten game, though. If we lose, right, mm -hmm. right. But 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 assuming we lose the the first playing game, we would take OKC, right? Yeah, if we lose to them and win the second one, we'd play OKC. <laughs> Stone, how do you feel we match up against uh, the Thunder? I am a lot more scared of the Thunder than most people seem to be. I'd, the Wolves are really who I was hoping to face. I think the Thunder match up well against us. But I understand that most people think they don't have very much experience and prefer that. <laughs> Wow, Zion only six points so far. Yeah, he's been struggling. Can you say LeBron has done a good job of defense on Zion or no? 
Yeah, um, he also he he had that steal, uh, Gerald yeah. <laughs> on Zion. Yep. Well, yeah. Zion just got it back. I don't know if it's as much on ball defense as it is. They're just sort of he's not making shots, and I think AD's affecting him the closer and he gets, which is the only area he can really operate efficiently. Give me tea. Give me tea. <laughs> and Alan, uh, Phoenix is the worst fourth quarter scoring team in the NBA. So just keep that in mind. I got a funny. I, I got a funny quote for you guys. You ready? Mm-hmm. Wemby, Wemby Yama, on American women. <laughs> I can't date them. Oh, I saw this. They're too, mas- <laughs> they're too masculine. Paris women are soft and tender. American women remind me of NBA young boy. <laughs> this this was fake, but I saw it. I know it's <laughs> fake. <laughs> Everything online is fake. They've been talking about this Mel Gibson. Mark Wahlberg starting their own stu- anti woke studio BS. Uh, who keeps reading this garbage? So the East is set, right? In, in totality here. Yes, when you look at it, it is done. They're all their games are done. Yeah. Yeah, 76ers Bucks is interesting. That'll be a that's probably the biggest matchup in the first round, to be honest. <clears throat> Cavs magic is pretty interesting to you. <laughs> The Nuggets are basically a walk to win the Grizzlies game now. Kings are going to win the And then Suns Wolves is at ten. <laughs> the Thunder are beating the Mavs at by forty nine points now. Jeez. How you doing, Frank? <laughs> a frock. I think you got tired of watching that Dallas game. I bet. Frank, you got you got your guilty your voice got messed up so bad you forgot to spell your name right. <laughs> I was forced. No, that's right. He's right. Um, they were uh, asking about a week ago to change. Uh, uh, that's right. Of, yeah. Change what? Your login uh, name. For a lot of people got asked. I uh, actually Lakers did. Too, uh, I, Lakers or Hasbro did too. Well, you, if they asked, you should have said no. <laughs> I like Franck better anyways. Sounds French. 
And the theme today is French. Stone started it. <laughs> I'm changing all my usernames to that. <clears throat> Who do we need? The Lakers. Really, we need the Lakers and Minnesota to win against that in the Phoenix game. Frank, I think we're all convinced that we're going to play Denver in the first round. It's it, We're not going to be able to avoid them. What's up, Juan? Uh, Juan says, Joe, I think I was wrong. I owe you a shot of Patron, but he will be happy to drink it though. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I don't know. I forgot to get Patron. So I guess I'll drink something just to be part of the crew. Uh, what do you guys prefer? If uh, you prefer to lose that and risk it, go into a second game to play OKC? Because I know you guys are more interested in OKC. I would just say finish it. Just just finish it. If you lose to Denver now or later, it doesn't matter. Just give it. The, you might be. I was actually thinking about this. Maybe it might be better to face Denver now than later. Yeah. Part of the reason why the Lakers lost in the in the Western Conference Finals was because they were so fatigued. Yeah, that might be a, a benefit at the beginning. Maybe we'll get lucky and play the Clippers. Maybe the Clippers will beat Dallas. Sorry for Frank, uh, <laughs> and 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 not have to worry about traveling in the second round or something. Which actually would be the third. Sorry, it would be the Western Conference Finals. <clears throat> Robert agrees with you, Joe. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some value in starting with your most difficult, you know, test first, right? And, you know, come what may. It's like, it's like, it's like doing cardio before you lift. Yeah, exactly, Joe. Or if you're just lifting, you always start with, you know, a heavy compound movement, right? And then you do more isolation stuff, you know? You know, Shout it's funny you brought that up, uh, Nick. I, I did a reverse chest day one day. I was I couldn't move when I got to bench. Bench is usually my first chest mm -hmm. movement. Instead, uh, so I'll do chest. I'll do uh, dumbbell chest dumbbell inclines and then there's a machine that i do decline yeah decline uh chest mm -hmm. and then i'll do uh flies flies on uh wide uh on the machine as well yeah so i did the i did the wide i, I went in reverse i went wide and that's my favorite exercise in all of lifting is the 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 flies the machine with the flies yeah the, the pec deck yeah the pec, yeah. Well, actually, it's I sit up. I, I'm not. On, I'm not on the ground. The, the gym I was at didn't have the one that that sits down. I wish. It, I wish there were more gyms that had that one. But I do the one where I sit up, and it's really, really like isolating all that. It's really good. The only thing is, I have to be careful with my shoulders because when I go too far, it kind of wigs it out. But uh, it's a controlled. It's a controlled exercise. That's why I love it. But uh, I started with that, and then I went to decline machine man halfway through my incline dumbbells i couldn't 
I, I was dying. Like my chest was like, what are you doing? And then when I got the bench, I couldn't do one set on my last set, barely. So you work until exhaustion. That's that's what your body wants to do, and it surprised it. You want to surprise your body. That's, yeah, that's uh, what Arnold used yeah, to say: surprise yeah, the muscle. Yeah, shock shock the muscle, right? Yeah, that's what he yeah. says. It shocked it because my my chest completely died on, on me halfway through my inclined dumbbell presses. Yeah, I actually love inclined dumbbell or inclined barbell. As LeBron gets another, almost got pocketed there, and he's gonna score. Watch. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, you prick! Now they how give him was, a foul, or they give him, does the count? How is that not a continuation? The NBA needs to fix that continuation BS. Every time somebody gets fouled and they don't dribble and score, that's continuation. That's what it says in the book. Anybody know where uh, Empire Jeff is? Is he okay? He was he on the other night or something. No, it's Joe. He was he was actually on the stream for Lakers in five yesterday. Um, so I, he's around. I just texted him this morning. He hasn't hit me back. Actually, yesterday. Maybe it's you, Joe. He just doesn't like you anymore. By the way, shout out to Joshua on Facebook, one of the few people who is not looking for an illegal stream on Facebook. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate uh, you being here. I don't want to get us disbanded on playback, but there's a lot of good ones out there. Oh, I know. <clears throat> Just got to hit the Google search. Yeah. Gerald, you said that you got cussed out, right, on Facebook? Because of the the lack of stream, yeah, I usually get uh, every. It's usually every stream, Nick. I usually get someone that's usually cursing me out um, in English or in Tagalog. English or Tagalog, yeah, I usually get chewed out because there's no stream because they don't read the uh, description where it says no game feed. So they're cussing you out for not allowing them to watch illegal streaming. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I get that. The entitlement, the entitlement isn't just in America, folks. For those of you listening, America gets blamed for being entitled. Everyone's entitled. It's called a human being issue. Nice shot by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie is an amazing shooter. What do you think about that, Stone? I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, what's going on? How you doing? 6 a.m. in the morning in Australia. My gosh, appreciate you joining us. I felt what? I felt that answer from Stone. I knew it was coming. <laughs> You're not going to change my mind. <laughs> I don't care if he gets 100 threes in a row. He sucks. Yep. <laughs> Aussie, what's up? No, they're not giving up. That's the Dinwiddie I know. <laughs> I thought it was going in. <clears throat> nice pass there, bud. <laughs> uh, shoot. All I, was right. wa I was watching college the other day um, for scouting stuff and this guy threw a pass he was at the top of the key throwing a pass to the corner on the right corner and he ended up throwing it like 10 feet too high for the guy in the corner and somehow threw it like in like way up in the stands. I'm like, how do you make a pass that badly? That's I thought he was bad. open, Stone. I thought he was open. <laughs> That's probably the worst pass I've ever seen. <clears throat> oh, he traveled. 
that's the Torian Prince we know, not that one in the first half that was doing so well. Are you insulting a Laker player who's yep. playing well? He hasn't been playing well since he had that stretch. Since you called him out for playing well, Joe, he hasn't played well. Reverse jinxed us. Maybe it's because he hasn't played since then. No, he did play since then. You called when? him out. He was doing well. You called him out for it. You praised him for it. And then he stopped playing well. Hold on. Dinwiddie's got the ball. Something good's going to happen. <laughs> Stop reverse jinxing us. <laughs> you guys know that the Pelican is going to score here, right? <laughs> it's a mathematical guarantee. At the buzzer? Yeah, of course. It's got to be by the at the buzzer. You think it'll be a four-point play? No, but don't be surprised <laughs> if it's a three. <laughs> oh, here comes Dinwiddie. In for Dinwiddie. I oh, know, in for Russell. We got two Dinwiddies now. It just feels right. Uh, that's incorrect, Frock. <laughs> Frock. Tigers. Tiger's body is breaking down, has, has broken down. All that torque, all that torque for almost 50 years caught up to him. <sighs> all that time playing a fake sport. Listen, golf is a sport, okay? <laughs> as much as a sport as NASCAR. NASCAR is a sport. No. Hey, you can't say that over there in Tennessee. They'll do stuff to you. <laughs> I don't care. <clears throat> Sun's up by 14. That's basically the game that's left that is the deciding factor for the Lakers pa uh, past the play-in. 
is this Sens Wolves game. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, they got to put AD on on Vel. I, I thought Vel and Junis got injured or something. I don't know why they didn't play him. They, they do that a lot, Stone. I know they do, but against the, the Lakers is a weird choice. <clears throat> they thought they could run the Lakers out the door. Nice. What a pass. Agreed, Aussie. They play them again if they win today. They stay in New Orleans. Robert, it's asking you, Joe, do you think if the Lakers face Denver the first round of the playoffs, the fact that nobody will pick the Lakers will win, uh, to win will benefit the Lakers since there will be no expectations to win? No. Uh, no. <laughs> the Lakers have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. If they lose, it's not good either way. Yeah, oh, they're going to beat uh, – Suns are going to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. Are they? Yeah. They're up by 18 in the fourth. Looks like it's going to be Denver. <clears throat> Lakers have to beat New Orleans again. Mm-hmm. It's going to be – so the standings, it seems like it's going to be OKC at one, Denver at two, Minnesota at three, Clippers at four, Mavericks wow. at five, uh, Suns at six, Pelicans seven, Lakers at eight. All these and... guys know they don't know sh they don't do shit other than shoot threes. They do nothing in the NBA but shoot threes. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. Obviously, forget about the play, and we still have to finish this game first. I feel comfortable, though. I think we're going to win. Think it's a fake comeback? Uh, I guess ultimately, yeah. I think the Lakers are going to pull it out. As long as the players, yeah, the players, I kind of don't think the players are looking at standings as they're playing. The coaches probably are, but I don't think the players probably know what the standings are at the moment. Do you think our coaches are? Yeah, I'm sure. What? Looking at the standings right now, like during the game, seeing how it's going to play out.
So if we won or if we lost the Pelicans game and then we ended up we would end up having to play either the Warriors or the Kings in the second <clears throat> the second game. This is the best case scenario for the play in though. This is the best team to play in the play in, I think, for the Lakers matchup boys. <laughs> Robert says low key he'd rather see the Pelicans beat the Lakers in the play in. Uh this is gonna be the debate I, I, <laughs> headed I'm, into uh, the playoffs. You don't take chances with that. The Lakers have, have known to play with their food anytime that this season and it hasn't worked has worked against them. So I'm I'm not a big proponent of that. Yeah, this is gonna be the what people, Lakers fans are going to be discussing all the way until it happens. But yeah, I, I think the other part of it is I'm more scared of the Thunder than most people seem to be. I'm not scared of the Thunder. I'm scared of Denver, but I guess uh, you'll be, they'll be more fresh playing in the first round against them than they would be in the Western Conference Finals, maybe. So, all right, let's go on a run now. Come on, do what you can do. Nice. Got AD with you. Oh, good pass back. <laughs> Could have just given it to AD all along. Just keeps. Yeah, he'd rather get blocked twice. Is that his third? Who's Valentunis? Because he hit him on the head. Valentunis. Yeah. Is that his third? Uh, let me check. I think it is. Um, if they update it, yes. He's only played six minutes in the game. I still think he'd play well alongside AD. Uh, he didn't space well enough. Shoots 35%. <clears throat> but what's the volume? Isn't he shooting pretty low volume? You know, that's like you, like we talked about. He doesn't get many minutes. Yeah. Shooting, people have, I think, like, if a big can shoot threes, people seem to think it makes a difference, but it has to be on, like, high enough volume to be able to suck defenses outwards. Uh, Arthur, great to have you here. Let's go ahead. Oh, you're asking for a projected um, because there are still game go games going on going in the West. So right now, based off what the current scores are, I'll go ahead and I'll set up for you next time out. Nice shit. Nice shot by uh... Yeah, nice shit. Nice shit. <laughs> Nice shit by AD. There you go. I'll set up for you, Arthur, on the next time out. Oh. How do they miss so many? Even with being fouled, how do they miss so many?
Timeout. Okay, here we go. Uh, right now, as of right now, Oklahoma City Thunder, they're winning big, so you can pretty much guarantee them the first base, first spot in the Western Conference. Uh, Minnesota is losing right now. Uh, at Fe- they're, they're playing in Minnesota against Phoenix uh, with five minutes left. They're losing by 20, so I think we're going to call that one for Phoenix. So Minnesota falls down to the number three because the Denver Nuggets are winning with three minutes left, big over Memphis. So it's going to be Oklahoma, Denver, Minnesota, the Clippers. Uh, the Mavericks got destroyed today because they did decided not to show up. Uh, they've got fifth. The Phoenix Suns, if things are st- uh, going to hold and Phoenix wins and the and the New Orleans Pelicans lose, then uh, the Phoenix Suns move up to sixth place. New Orleans goes down to seventh. The Lakers would end up in eighth. The Sacramento Kings would end up in ninth based on what we're seeing now because they're leading, a dis- uh, they're destroying Portland right now with a couple minutes left in the fourth quarter. And then Golden State, even though they're winning by one right now with two minutes left against Utah, they would be in 10th place. So there you have it, Arthur. You got it, Arthur. No okay, say it again. I will on the post game, Joe. JY, no, no. when do we pull the starters, guys? Let's uh, give it another couple minutes, JY. I think. What did I say? What did you say? I don't listen. Do it. What you say? What you say? Yeah, I know, Frank. You did. You guys didn't. Uh... It's not Frank. It's Frank. Oh, fr- sorry, Frank. <sighs> yeah, you don't. You didn't have your lineups in there, so you guys just essentially uh, mailed that one in. <laughs> <laughs> See, Joe's in a good mood, so he feels particularly ornery Who today. Says I was in a good mood. Because you're <laughs> oh, <laughs> your face. Oh, <laughs> your face right back. Punk. Oh. I'll do the Scott Hall. <laughs> good, good response. <laughs> I like the little thing on the E. All right, up by 23 with seven and a half minutes left. We can do this. We got this. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. How many assists does LeBron have? 15. 17. 17. Up by 25. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pass to himself. That should be two assists. That's 112 triple doubles in his career. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, I don't think Zion feels anything, Aussie. He might Zion feel will be Zion will likely be done in about five or six years in the NBA, unless he does some serious soul searching and starts putting in the work. Sharky, they're winning by 25. How could you say the Lakers are terrible? Because <sighs> they don't have Windler. I see. Okay. The, you, you, you're not getting it, Gerald. Things matter. The details. He misses his Windler. Exactly. We all do. Over and back. Austin was all confused, like, wait a minute, what? Hey, what? Hey, hey. and no, yeah. <laughs> he says they are terrible about to give away Dinwiddie. What a waste of Dinwiddie. Who? Dinwiddie. Sharky is saying this on YouTube. What do you mean getting rid of Dinwiddie? Because he'll be a free agent. Oh. Because he was a bio guy. Oh, yeah. What, what what was the question? No, he his comment was that they're gonna he they're about ready to give away Dinwiddie. Oh, well, they, they didn't really get him for anything to give away. What the hell is going on here? The Lakers are better off letting him walk anyway. There you go. You see how good. You see how good they are right there. Especially Gabe Vincent. Yeah, he has Aussie. He's probably going to be all defensive this year, too. Why? Because of his defense. He sucks. <laughs> It's going to be all bigs on the first team now that they got rid of positions, thankfully. <clears throat> oh, AD's gimpy again. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. It'll be, it'll be Wemby, AD, uh... NBA D go bear uh all a bunch of bigs. Did you get a Charlie horse? It's oh, his, his back. Or is it calf? Oh, or his back? back. Yeah, it's probably gonna be all centers. Do you get take a shot in the back? They're going to have to sub him out because he's not going to be in in enough time. What did he do? Uh, Looks like he pushed off. Nance, just a normal push off, just a normal play. He even put pressure on there. No. Yeah, that, looked, that looked like nothing. Wow. That looked, that, 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 those are the scary injuries, the ones that don't. Require a hit. Is it his groin or is it his back? I think it's his back. I mean, they were also stretching out his leg like it could have been his squat yeah. as well. And it's his whole body. <laughs> It's his whole lower body. <laughs> He's going to, in tomorrow, be in a full mummified cast. He's going back to the locker room.
LeBron three away from 20 assists, Joe. Yeah. He's going to hunt him. I don't think so. I think he's going to be out in the next possession. Next dead ball, sorry. He wants it. Uh, D'Lo. He ain't going to get it. Just let it go. I don't care if he gets it or not. Dead ball. It's crazy how instantaneously their whole setup goes to shit when AD sits. If that's not valuable, I don't know what is. We're not going to lose. It's too, too, too. We're up too much. You can't, you can't think that way, Frank. Because if they don't beat New Orleans in the next game, that means they got to play another game against Sacramento or Golden State. I don't. You're you. I'd rather make the playoffs than not go to the playoffs. It's not worth it. <laughs> yep, uh, Frank uh, is a Dallas Mavericks fan, but a, a still a great part and uh, welcome part of uh, the Lakers fast break uh, chat. Aussie. Gary A, on the other hand, he says he's a Lakers fan, but he's he's pretty negative about the Lakers. In fact, I think he called a 20-point win for New Orleans today. All right, I think all the rest of the games have gone final. Yep, Sacramento, Golden State won, Phoenix won, Denver won. It's the last game on the slate for today. Is this game ever going to end? I know it's so long. I already sent the link out. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. Check your email. Yeah.
Nice. It looks like half of the smoothie keen already emptied out. I think yeah. you're right, Nick. It's half a smoothie. It's the smoothie prince. <laughs> it's a half a smoothie now. <laughs> if New Orleans plays defense like that on Wednesday, with uh, LeBron getting CJ McCollum on defense, yeah, that's... That's a recipe of disaster for that's, New Orleans. That's barbecue foil. Smoothie King must be yeah. making a, kill, a killing a pretty... in New Orleans for it to like sponsor an entire arena. Oh, it's huge out there. From what I know, I, I don't live out there, but. Yeah, it's a terrible matchup, Alan, for them. <clears throat> Why are the starters still in there? Yeah, yeah. LeBron also grabbed his back there, uh, Joe. I saw that. Maybe he had an itch. <laughs> I mean, Ham should really. I mean, now it's just kind of ridiculous. Just take take him out already. I think that's a pretty good matchup for Denver, to be honest. For... They're uh, they're waving the white flag in New Orleans. So let's go ahead. White. They're putting their bench in. Hold on, Spencer's making a shot here. Hold on. Yeah, playoffs are different, though. Just a different animal. <clears throat> Yay, they won. <clears throat> I think... The Mavericks are probably a pretty good bet to beat the Clippers. Gerald, any chance that Vandal's coming back for the first round? You know, Ham was so vague in his last comments, on, I think on Friday, um, before the game on Vando. Uh, he's not even been cleared for five on five yet, Nick. So I'd say that's very iffy at best. Uh, unless something changes but again it it's remains to be seen I, I i really think it's going to be doubtful for vando but maybe i'm hopefully i'll be proven wrong oh frank wants to know the quiet I'm hoping. frank even the clippers coaching staff has no idea on Kawhi. Kawhi only knows Kawhi. Kawhi has his own medical staff they let the clippers coaching staff know when they want him to know Here's what I do know. Kawhi will be injured in the playoffs and the Clippers won't do shit. Know I that. think I think the Mavericks could get to the Western Conference Finals. Looking at it. Yeah, Robert, I have I I agree with you. It looks like pretty easy for Boston. That's the East. The Clippers are going against yet. the Mavs, right? Sorry, sorry, Joe. Um, Clippers are well, going against the Mavs, same. right? Yes. Yeah. We keep hearing the same story with, with the East. Oh, well, these guys are going to do this. No, they're not. Wait Celtics are just far and, a better, far and away better than anyone in the East. It doesn't matter if they face all the best teams in the East. They just wipe the floor with them. And I think really the only team in the West that can beat them is going to be Denver. <clears throat> I 
Dallas going to destroy the Clippers. I don't know about destroy, but I do think they're going to win. <clears throat> My God, has he made a shot yet? This season, I think he did make a layup or a slam. I meant a shot. Oh, not from the outside, I don't think. What's up, Jeez. JSJ? Yes, good win for the Lakers. Are you? I mean, there there's still people who say they see something in Lewis. I'm like, I don't know where it is because it hasn't been there all season. Hasn't well, we all see something. Summer. We all see something, and we see Europe, <laughs> China, Australia, maybe. Ooh, Castleton with the footwork and the missed layup. From one foot. How do you miss that? And you're eight feet tall. All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side. You got it. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Stone. Thanks, Nick, for uh, being part of today's broadcast right here, the simulcast. Stay tuned for the post game. Uh, Gerald, we still don't know what time the plane is going to begin, right? No, I'm going to NBA.com. Hopefully, I'll have that answer here during the show, during the post game. Lakers are going to face them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to avoid Denver, JSJ. Well, we got to make sure we win on Wednesday, though. All right. I'll see you on the post game. It, it, you got it, Stone. Nick, thanks as always, my friend. You're always welcome to join us on the post game. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, Gerald. Uh, good win. Uh, kind of mixed feelings uh, just based off who we're probably going to face. But, um, you know, we'll do our best. <laughs> we will do our best indeed. But, Nick, always great to have you here, Stone. And also as well, of course, Joe, truly appreciate it. Once again, appreciate everyone out there watching on YouTube, Facebook, and of course, playback Lakers win today. They pick up the victory. They get eighth place in the Western Conference, 124 to 108. We'll go ahead and hit you up on the post game coming up here in just a few seconds right here at the Lakers. Fast.